Hi everyone. Uh, I wanted to make a video talking about um, sharing my ideas about the connection between some topics that uh, may not appear to be connected at first or at all. Um, and the reason why I would like to share my thoughts with you is because um, there have been so many times when I have been so positively impacted and helped and inspired and encouraged and have learned so much from people who are willing to share their ideas out loud <laughs> even when they may sound uh, really strange or nuts or irrational or illogical um eccentric well beyond that right um and they say things out loud even though it may affect their um image or their reputation or their or their credibility or their um I guess how, whether they're perceived as like a, or just how they're perceived. And um, and then what usually ends up happening, it seems, is that very soon after they say whatever they say out loud, it's like, oh, it's not that strange anymore. <laughs> whether it's like five years down the line or sometimes even faster, maybe even like six months down the line or a month later right it's like something that seems so bizarre and things like that happen all the time there are just so many things that sound so strange until you hear it spoken out loud by someone else i don't know why that's the key but we are just such maybe social creatures i guess right and I guess it's just not anyone, but someone that you uh, trust or find credible or, you know, once it's said out loud, or I guess if you trust authority, then when an authority says something, then it's like, oh, okay, then, and then you start repeating it too, or you feel safe to repeat it, or you don't feel strange saying it out loud, or, you know, not to say that anything I'm about to say is something that, um... <laughs> You know, who knows? It's just, it's just my thoughts. I'm not, um, I loved how this person who I respect a lot, um, put it, his name is, um, Alondra Markman. And he, I heard him say in an interview, something like, well, I'm not, it's not, I'm not claiming to be, I'm not the arbiter of what's true and what's not true. But, and then, you know, he went on to say, Anyway, just such a beautiful soul and what a beautiful um, way to put things. Um, and so I'm not, I'm not trying to convince, I'm not trying to insist that, I don't know, I have like the one truth. Um, I, uh, you know, or that I must be right or that uh, if you don't agree with me, um, you know, you're the crazy one. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, n it's none of those things. I, I just, I just feel very inspired by the people who have helped me along my journey, who, who took risks, um, to just say what they were thinking out loud. Um, okay. So, Um, 
I, I kind of don't know where to begin. Um, I guess also too, this is because I think maybe it, it has to be explained um, because it's not like an, an automatic, uh, I guess the realizations that I'm having kind of like in a short period of time, one after the other, um, are not necessarily like a normal, I mean, who knows what's normal? Who knows? But kind of, and each person has their own unique path when they are on their journey of awakening. But I think my, um, Experience has been weird enough. <laughs> I think it's been weird enough that it warrants me explaining myself a little bit. Because it's not... Because I do the thing where I kind of assume that it makes sense. And that I assume it's similar to other people's experiences. And then I assume that this is what... Um, it's the trajectory that other people or lots of other people can or should or will follow. And maybe that's not the case at all. Um, and therefore, I have to kind of like explain myself maybe? Not not explain myself like I have to defend anything, just, just, just describe my experience. Because... Um, Again, we're social beings and we like to explain our, um, we like to be known and understood by other human beings, by our fellow human beings. Um, okay. So, um, because I was so, uh, I don't know what the phrase is, I guess dead asleep. I'm sure that a lot of people um, were like me in that they thought basically that everything was normal and okay and fine. Business is normal, nothing too crazy is going on in the world. And then um, actually, I imagine that some people from the beginning of the pandemic, scandemic, realized that, um, oh, you know, some this is this is weird. Something's off. But um, I was not one of those people at all. And I just, I didn't suspect anything at all. And it took a year and a half uh, for me to like notice anything was wrong at all. So it was like the end of 2021. But it was like... Um, It was, then it was, it was on. <laughs> I was like, I was on the ride and it was like not ending and I just wasn't getting off. So basically it went from, let me try to remember. I was like, oh, and let me also try to be careful with my language because like, even though I'm like literally... No, I'm, I'm, I do, th I, the reason why, the reason why I sit alone and film <laughs> these videos is because it really, it was because I was like, it was my way of screaming into the void, okay? Like, I, I could not, <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing, but it's because I don't want to cry. <laughs> It was because I could not stand it and I needed to speak and I had no one to listen and I um, wanted to um, it 
it was it, it just it just felt so um important for me to be able to express myself what was it now was it last year and so now um it's a little different i don't feel that frantic um ness thank god but um Yes, so, so, okay, so in the beginning, I knew nothing, and then I woke up at the end of 2021, only, only to the, sh you know, the, those, to the treatments, okay, and, um, and at first, I thought, oh, I'm very pro treatment. Um, it's just something's off with these because it's killing people, and people are dying, and I'm being too, I'm being lied to about it. And then later, of course, that that evolved to into um, when I learned more information about. Gosh, this is so frustrating. Like half, I, I just realized half the stuff I can't even really say without getting another, um, another strike or um, getting like another video deleted, which is like so dumb because, oh, right. That's what I was trying to tell you because I'm doing this to keep a record partly, right? You know, it's kind of like a live, live just a, a record and a, a way for me to like speak, speak through time to my grandchildren or something, right? And um, and maybe also a small part of me wants to feel like, okay, good. Like I want to have my ideas out there so that, um, because you never know when um, someone will see it and, and, um, maybe benefit in in any way but anyways um and yet even though uh i am really just doing this for myself and my grandchildren let's say and it's not like i have a reach at, or that you know tons of people are watching this stuff but i'm st even I guess the point is, it doesn't matter because, you know, obviously it's done with, I don't know, electronically or AI or um, the programs or whatever. It's like, it's it's just designed to, um, to flag certain things and to delete certain things automatically. And that's so frustrating because... Let's see. Well, I'll just have to do my best. So, uh, it was about, it, it really was just like a week or two. Oh my God. I just, I don't know. How do I talk about this? Um, okay. It was about a week or two. After I realized that something was very wrong and that people's lives were in danger and they were about to harm the children because they were going to begin treating them with this treatment, the five to five to 11 year olds, I think, right? Uh, the, that coming Tuesday, they were going to start rolling it out and so I think within a couple of weeks of that I watched a video a radio interview of the actress Shirley Mc... no no is that her name is it Shirley McLean yeah Shirley McLean and she was doing some radio interview and she was telling this person in like such a matter of fact, natural, um, 
you know, she wasn't making a joke. She wasn't, there was just nothing. She, she was just so matter of fact and nonchalant and normal about this. <laughs> Telling this interviewer guy that all the governments know about um, aliens and they have interacted with them and um, what have you, right? And so later I would learn that indeed they have and they have, um, you know, often received like technology and they've negotiated, you know, to um, receive it in turn for, I, I don't know, whatever, right? And so I just, <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay. <laughs> Here's this person who I know from the movies, right? Who I actually really thought was super great. I just think she's super funny and awesome. And here she is saying this like crazy stuff, like out loud without even blinking an eyeball. And I was like, okay. So the thing is, right? When you, <laughs> basically it was impossible for me at that moment to say, well, she's, definitely crazy um she's definitely or, or she's definitely lying or she's making something up it's like none of that would make sense like why <laughs> right and so um i really soon after it was <laughs> it was like Boom, scandemic. Boom, aliens. It was like that, right? And I I was like, what? <laughs> and so the thing is, though, I couldn't just dismiss her just because it's something weird or it's something... I think... And I think what I just described, actually is a big part of it. The fact that she was so, you know, matter of fact about it. Anyways, so, okay. Um, and so it jumped from like, uh, so it, that's kind of a line, it seems, right? It's like, like between, like, let, let's just, okay, let's just focus on those two topics. Scamdemic and then aliens. So I would, the current me, I would say now that they are, um, of course they're related. They're very much related because we're being lied to about both of those things. Um, and, you know, not, not for not to benefit us. <laughs> the lies are not to benefit us. Uh, but it would be extremely hard to bring up one of those topics and then bring up the other one as well. Right? Right. So, like, hey, um, you know, man, like there's some corruption and overreach and mishandling and lying and fudging things and um, fudging numbers or, you know, and there's like whatever, whatever, whatever horrible, you know, criticisms that people have of how all of that was handled and of the the medical field in general and all of that uh it would be hard to to be having a conversation about that and then say like hey um you know did you know did you know there are aliens 
<laughs> and they're like, um, they're, you know, basically contact has already begun. Obviously not like mass all over the world. It's not a, you know, majority thing, but it, 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 they've been here. They um, visit all the time and they're very interested and all that. It's like, it, it would be hard to do that, to bring that up <laughs> in that same conversation. Um, but I feel like we really need to talk about both and some other topics as well, right? But let's just pick those two. Um, because I feel like if If you if you if you know a lot of information about one part of the lie, one part of the agenda, one part of the the mind control, one part of the suppression, one part of the attack one part of the uh like one one part of okay so like in the end really it's about learning about ourselves right about um Right, learning about who we really are and why we're here and what we really are and what we're here to do. Um you know, all the all the question all all the the most important questions each important aspect of us like is it's obviously all connected it all links to each other and you can't fully know yourself if you only know a part and i feel like what's happening to humanity or what we're walking through together as humanity can only really, in my opinion, make sense and make more sense and be understood if you're armed with the knowledge of things that maybe on the surface don't seem to have much to do with each other, like the scamdemic and extraterrestrial life. Um, and I'm sure that the, you know, just how impossibly difficult it is to jump from one topic to the other or to bring it up, um, you know, I'm sure that benefits some and i really feel like we have to we just have to be able to talk about both um because they are very much related even if it's just because of the fact that so many resources have gone into hiding information about both of those topics. And it really is about um, us having a birthright to the truth or to having a birthright to, to, access, to access information when we want to. Um, and 
if we can't find a way to talk about both um, the kind of, because there's like a battle going on, right? I mean, one could say it, it really is already World War Three, right? It's just it's just different from before. It's not like you know bombs everywhere, or you know just the men, just the soldiers, whatever. It's just like it's an attack on all of humanity. So there's that, and then there's of course the the spiritual war, right? And ultimately, it is a spiritual war, and then whatever happens there filters to filters down, right? Um, and I just think it's so not helpful for us to continue to bicker about not bicker but to only focus on the war happening on in the physical well like let's say you know if we only focus on the corruption in the medical field and the government overreach and um right and try to fix those things um and not really have an understanding of who or what created and perpetuated those problems mostly um, and to not see that part and to not understand that um, it's just really unfortunate because then we don't have the bigger picture and and no one has to no one has to we don't no one has to believe what i believe um believe whatever you want i just want to love you i i don't care what you believe i love you i love you anyway Um, okay, so then maybe really instead of like continually apologizing the way, you know, saying like, oh, yeah, I don't, you, I don't, I'm not trying to convince you. Okay. I've already said all that. So maybe I should just start explaining what's going on in my view. And I say this as someone who two and a half years ago thought everything was fine and um, and there was nothing like super wrong with the world and there are even if there probably are mathematically um, you know the mathematical probability of there being extraterrestrials I felt was I mean of course they exist but I just felt like it was so irrelevant and like who cares and why would they care about us and it's just irrelevant like can we like not bother about that like what is the obsession with going to space why can't we just fix our earth first like that was my feeling about anything like that so I went from that to this person now who's about to say some crazy stuff. 
things that in our current world are still considered crazy, but I am certain that in whatever, you know, however many years, it'll just all become, it'll, it'll all be common knowledge, right? It'll just, it, more and more people will, um, well, anyway, okay. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I, is this, is this fear? Okay. Maybe I'm a little bit, I feel a little afraid. I feel a little afraid and I feel a little hesitant. Why? Hmm. This is actually scary. Okay, no, I, 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 I am afraid. <laughs> what a world we live in. Okay, um... Maybe what I should do Okay. You know what I'll do because this is already so long. I'm going to Cuz I was about to launch into like a list of or, or like a description of where we are and why I personally think what I think is going on and who's doing what and right. But I, maybe I should like write it down first or something. It just seems... Like where would I begin? And where would I end? And what do I... What's the part that's scaring me the most? I've been doing this thing where I try to identify what scares, the, what scares me the most and then I just do it. I mean, I don't just do it. Like, I don't... I'm not like being mean to myself and forcing me to myself to, I don't know, like, b but I make it a point to try to, if, if possible, to, to go ahead and do the thing that I'm nervous about doing and then it always works out fine. This is really scary, <laughs> you know? Okay. I won't go into the whole thing about like, oh, this is what's going on. And, <laughs> you know, the, the, these are the, it's because the psychopaths are in control and they're just extremely infantile and crazy. 
just like um, Annika Lucas said in a video that I, interview thing that I watched, was it today? You know, and those are the perfect words. She said, they're, no, they're, no one can really fathom how insane these people are or, or how infantile. Anyways, um, but I figured, okay, I figured it out. The thing that made me suddenly hesitate and not be able to talk <laughs> is because I was about to bring up reptilians. Okay, that has to be what it was. Because um, cause I can talk about the scamdemic and I can talk about extraterrestrial life. Um, you know, and even then when you talk about those things, you can sound very... Um, you can intellectualize it, let's say. Uh, you can have the most distinguished scientist discuss extraterrestrial life. Um, you know, the fact that it's likely that they exist and whatever. And no, no one would bat an eye. But when I, if I talk about reptilians... Um, that feels very different. That feels like something that cannot be intellectualized or can't be spoken of in like a... in a dry academic manner <laughs> because of the way that subject is perceived by us by all of us still um, as of yet as something that is completely wild and um, you know not only is not true but is like you know sure evidence that you have um, fallen off your rocker <laughs> um, definitely belong in a mental institution because those are run so well and aren't corrupt at all by the way and so yeah let's throw people in those a anyways you know you certainly um, can't be a rational normal human being who lives a normal life and um we you are you have now put yourself in the box or um outside of the box of people who we can have um civil discussions with like if you like clearly you are not even really human because you're so dumb <laughs> if you believe that there are negative reptilians um of course some are good but if you believe that they exist and you believe that they um are very influential and um are very much, I mean, they, I don't even know if they technically, my understanding is they're not really, I mean, I know people call them extraterrestrial, but I, aren't they terrestrial? Cause they live here or, you know, they think this place is theirs or whatever. So I guess they're more interdimensional. I, I don't know. Anyways, um, I, Based on the things that I have seen and heard and read, um, not the least of which are many firsthand accounts of people who have 
either seen these beings or have seen them, you know, shift a little, like whether it's maybe their eyes suddenly turned into slits or, you know, whatever, right? Or, or some people have just seen them shift completely. Um, um, yeah, those firsthand accounts and then, you know, it just so happens that there are, uh, cultural references to these beings. Anyway, so, um, I guess what I'm saying is... Um, I feel like I, I feel like I have to apologize again. I'm sorry if I'm sorry if this offends or doesn't fit into your worldview. I'm sorry if I'm sorry if it seems I'm sorry if this angers you. Um, I'm sorry if this just is annoying because, <laughs> because, um, when, a when someone is just making up stuff or lying or saying something for seemingly, seemingly no reason that that's annoying. Um, but I guess. I guess what I know is that not everyone will will feel that way. Not everyone is going to think that way um, or react that way or respond that way to my saying that there are indeed um, there are indeed reptilians. They do indeed have an exorbitant amount of influence and power over us um, and through us. And, um, and this is indeed a topic which um, we should be able to freely discuss. Um, just like we should be able to freely discuss our ideas and research about the pandemic or scam scamdemic. <laughs> I don't I don't know which is my favorite. Though I love both of those words. Um And that's the thing too, like if we were able to speak about things freely with each other, None of the, like, this would just so be a non-issue in, like, two seconds, you know. But anyways, I, I guess I've done my part today. <laughs> I've done my part this evening in helping to, I guess, just to put it out in the ether, to help take away the, the sting and the mm, just the ooze <laughs> that covers that topic that covers the person who speaks of that topic right um because there really is no other way there really is no other way other than to just talk about this stuff there's no other way other than to destigmatize conversations regarding things that um you know sound crazy or which one of the nice things these days is that um what's considered crazy is actually quite um seems to be changing every minute every other second you know can you okay i'll end with this Can you even imagine, like a, a couple years ago, if someone were to say like, oh, you know, 
um, you know that rapper, you know, you know, you know that super successful, famous, um, rich rapper P. Diddy. Um, he's actually um really into abusing children and he has these crazy parties at his house and they're actually satanic ritual um orgies. Uh yeah, you know, like imagine just try when I, if just imagine someone saying that out loud to anyone in like I don't know 2020 2022 even I don't know pick your year I you would have been laughed out of the universe <laughs> You would have irritated everyone because you're being an idiot and bringing up horrific topics nobody wants to think about or talk about. You're just, you're just, you're ruining the party <laughs> by saying such insane things. And then now look at the world, look at, look at what's happening. Look at the world that we're living in. So what's what's so crazy two seconds ago stops being crazy a little bit later. And there's a reason for that. And it's because we are realizing things more and more. And so um, I guess that's that. I don't... <laughs> So I guess I started out by saying that I would really like to find a way that it's important to be able to talk about topics that don't seem related um, and don't seem to overlap, but they do like the pandemic and extraterrestrial life. And yes, indeed, they are related because we're being lied to about both and we have a birthright to information that is relevant to us or even if it's not relevant we just we just have a birthright to learn to not be lied to not have stuff hidden from us mm. and then um and then i threw in for good measure <laughs> my um Uh, my attempt to try to um, to add to I, ju I just think we need to talk about this stuff more like imagine if every single person who believed in reptilians talk, said so and talked about it it would like speed things up you know what I mean so Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> this is really long. Um, have a wonderful night.